Denise, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, last time we we're face to face, but this time yeah. we we're using technology. Yeah. But it, it all works eventually, right? So now, um, let's start first with your uh, your debut last December. You took on Jihin Radzuan, which is a tough, tough matchup for anybody. You got the unanimous decision. Yeah. You more than a, a a year away from fighting. Was that the toughest fight of your career so far? Um, honestly, yes. Jihin is the toughest. Um, opponent I've been faced. Why was that fight so so tough for you? Um, it become like really challenging because um, it's my first time doing the hydration and mm-hmm. those tests, and then um, um, I I never fought like um, I never fought like one year before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been training for for one year since since that fight like yeah the hydration test i've talked to many fighters and uh Mm -hmm. they said the same thing they said in the beginning it's so tough for them because they're not used to it they don't know but do you feel like this time uh your second fight is going to be easier for you yeah i think i think this this fight and this coming 28 will be easy I don't think there's um problem in my uh, hydration. What what did you prove to yourself and to everybody watching with the performance that you had against Jihin? Um I did like I did the the game plan, the strike and then do the takedown and then um pressure her in in the ground then don't, don't let her escape and everything. Yeah. I think I did the game plan, like what, what we did in training. Was that the first time you went into a fight with a very strict game plan? Or have you always fought with the game plan? I always fought with the game plan, but, but, but most of my opponents, um, I don't see her, I don't see their fights mm-hmm. I, because most of them are like Korean. Mm-hmm. And then most of them, I can see their previous fights. So <laughs> most of them are like that. So whatever they throw in the fight, I just... I just <laughs> you just react? Yeah, I just react <laughs> like that, yeah. <laughs> you know, afterwards, you were very emotional. You know, I saw the interview that you did with Misha Tate and you talked about yeah, you I sacrificed did. a lot, and I, you know, I understand that, and I, and I seen how hard you train. Uh, when you got back home, because I know you went home uh, mm-hmm. to the Philippines, <laughs> how emotional was that return to see your family? Like when I when I see them, like I almost cried. Like I cried, <laughs> I <laughs> cried actually. Like oh, finally, I went I went home to see them. Like spend time. I never go outside of them, like, so, so I can spend the time with them. Yeah. Other than your family, what did you miss most about the Philippines when you got back and you had to do something or you had to go to? I know food is important, so <laughs> was there some place you had to go? Yeah, food. <laughs> food number one. <laughs> and then most of the, some of the places, like, I went to the island, the mm-hmm. beach, yeah. When did, you know, how long did you stay in the Philippines? It's like almost two months. Two months? So. Yeah. While yeah, you were there, did been... you uh, train at uh, any gyms out there? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, I still uh, do training and then do running, like um, keeping on track. Like, yeah. Not just like vacation, vacation or holiday. I do did... training too. Did you do a lot of training with your brother? I, I, I do. Most of the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Most of the time. From, from, we, 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 we're, we're doing training. Yeah. It must have been nice because I know you're very close with your brother. You know, he's a very yeah. a big inspiration for you. So getting back home, training with them, it must have been a good feeling. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so two months later, you go back to Fairtex. You're training, mm-hmm. you know, with the team again. And then... When did they did, when did they come to you about this fight against Mei Yamaguchi? How long ago? Um 
actually I'm in the Philippines when they call me mm-hmm. like yeah like uh, a week ago before mm-hmm. I came back here yeah so <laughs> that's it like um they call me like if you if I want to fight mm-hmm. and then I to- I ask them like who's the opponent okay. and I was like Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> like okay, <laughs> but um, it took like a day before mm-hmm. before I replied. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You know, well, you were training the whole time, and you know, out there yeah. for a few months. So when you got back, you just need to get with your coaches, right, and figure out mm-hmm. what's the game plan against Mei Yamaguchi. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mei Yamaguchi, she's probably the number one ranked Adam weight in the division other than the champion, right? Angela Lee. Yeah. You know, what are your thoughts on her? Did you grow up watching her or is she someone that's very fairly new to you? No, I, I know her. Like yeah. I've watched, I've watched her fight before, even though I'm still not doing MMA, because I watch her with, mm. uh, with Angela Lee and Jenny Wong, I guess. Yeah. So, when I watched her fight, like I said, like oh my god, she's really tough. Her her body like very manly, like <laughs> very strong. Mm. Yeah, I knew her before. <laughs> what do you think about her style of fighting? You know, um, her like when she gets into the cage and watching her fights. What do you think about it? Um, she's really good in wrestling and jujitsu. Mm. And then, then if she puts pressure in her opponent, I don't think um, the opponent will can easily um, escape on, escape on her on her top game. Yeah, I think her wrestling and jiu jitsu are too good. Well, you know, your wrestling and jiu jitsu is pretty good too. So uh, you mm-hmm. must be very confident because you took the fight. So it's a big opportunity, right, for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think um, this fight um, uh, I'll show more on striking, mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah, and if she puts me in the ground, so you put on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're 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 confident against yeah. her ground. I need to. <laughs> I need yeah. to. No. Yeah, because if I can like, if if I can like beat her, like, yeah. I know she's really she's really like top contender in that division. So this is a really big challenge for me. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I, I wanted to say um, when you got back to Fairtex a week ago, you mm-hmm. said um, so. You must have started. What did you focus on? You know, did you focus on a lot of the conditioning because you were training already? So it's not like mm-hmm. you're focusing on your skills. You know, where is that what it was? Is the conditioning for you right now? Um, actually, like doing more more defense because she's mm-hmm. really good in wrestling i don't mm-hmm. want her to take me take me down and then stay on top mm-hmm. no so i work on my wrestling defense work on my striking again and then yeah jiu-jitsu too a lot of work with uh your coach dj mm-hmm. right yeah yeah this this uh event in singapore mm-hmm. it's very unique because there's not gonna be a crowd. Yeah. At the yeah. show, you heard about yeah. this, right? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Yesterday. Yeah, and the arena is gonna be empty. It, yeah. it is it gonna be weird fighting in a place I, where there's no I think, people? I don't know what it feels like because mm-hmm. I never fought in no gym gents. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of weird. But I'm still thankful that one championship mm-hmm. get that that they can they continue the fight mm. they still continue the event and then they they think about the preparation of the fighters yeah still still grateful that they can still fight yeah definitely uh another advantage is you can hear everything so whatever your coaches are telling you to Says, do yeah. mm-hmm. you can hear everything so it's such an advantage in that way yeah every punch every kick can hear everything <laughs> yeah <laughs> do you usually when you're fighting do you hear the crowd do you kind of feel the crowd when you're fighting or is it do you is it like they don't exist and then when you fight it's just you and the your opponent 
no, no, I can hear mm-hmm. everyone. <laughs> like I can hear everyone. I can hear the cheer of the side of my side of my opponent. Mm-hmm. I can hear the the cheer on me. Yeah, everything. <laughs> this fight against uh, Yamaguchi. Mm-hmm. How do you see it playing out? Do you see it like your last fight, where it's gonna be three rounds? It's gonna be a tough fight. Or do you do you want to go in there and and make a statement against Yamaguchi and be like, hey, I'm gonna finish this fight and uh, be the number one contender? I couldn't say. I couldn't say. You don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but let's see on on, on twenty eight. See what ha- what would happen. Yeah. All right. Um. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But let's say you win. Mm-hmm. You beat the number one contender. Mm-hmm. That makes you the number one contender yeah so so that's what does uh, that mean for you <laughs> um of course it will be grateful right mm-hmm. like i i just fought like twice and then already on the top top round in my division so nice. maybe if i have the if one championship will give me the opportunity to fight the the, the, the championship mm-hmm. i'll be so happy yeah, I think, I you know, this is my opinion. I believe that mm-hmm. the original fight between mm-hmm. Mei Yamaguchi and Meng Bo was maybe a, a, a title challenger fight. Whoever won that fight mm-hmm. was going to get a title mm-hmm. shot. Yeah. And that's why I think they brought you in because Meng Bo, she pulled out. They brought you in because they, they see you as somebody that could fight for the title eventually. So why not you do it faster? Who yeah. wins this? I think like, hey, let's go for it, yeah. you know? That, that's why I took the fight. That's why. Mm-hmm. That's why I said yes because this is the like opportunity. This is a great opportunity for me to fight championship. Yeah. So after this, it's like, hey, let's go, Angela Lee. Let's get it. <laughs> oh my god, that's my idol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I have like um, I messaged her like 2017. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can see in my Instagram, I messaged her like 2017, like, oh my God, you're my idol, you're the prettiest one, I love, I love you, like mm-hmm. that. So that will be happy. Let, 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 like, it's like a dream fighting yeah. with her. Yeah. Yeah, that, but that's like every athlete. Every athlete's mm-hmm. like that. You know, you look up to somebody that's at the top and then mm-hmm. you reach the top and then you got to mm-hmm. battle your idols, make your For idols you. your rivals, <laughs> right? <laughs> For real. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what sports Sorry. is about. It's, a, it's yeah, what uh, MMA is about. So, yeah, it's very exciting. Mm-hmm. That, You're making yeah, me excited exciting. about it, you know? <laughs> it's, uh, it's always fun to very talk with somebody exciting. that is in that position that you're uh, you're in to be able to yeah. reach those goals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for real. All right, well, that's <laughs> February 28th. One championship. Right, yeah. King, yeah, of King of the jungle. King of the jungle. Or Queen of the Jungle, come on. Queen of the queen Jungle. Queen of the Jungle. Me and Stomp, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, yeah, Singapore, May Yamaguchi, major opportunity for you, Denise. Uh, I'm happy mm-hmm. to speak with you, and uh, hopefully we speak again. Good luck on the fight. Uh, good luck on uh, the training and the rest of the camp, and uh, have fun. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much.